taking another look at this vintage Air Hogs product list that I got from way back when. And I've already shown you quite a few of these that I have. The E-Chargers, the Eradicator, and the Fender. Unfortunately, do not have a resistor. But what about a, this Sky Patrol helicopter? This looks pretty cool. Flies to heights up to 50 feet. Proportional control system. Rear rotor stabilizing system. Charger is also a launch pad. Onboard computer for maximum control. Recharges in minutes. Learn to fly video. Looks pretty cool. I wish I had one of those. Wow, I do have one of those. But there's something off about this one. Super Air Hogs. Radio control. Super power. Lifts straight off the launch pad. Flies and hovers like a real helicopter. Hmm. Something is off about this one. Never seen the branding of Super Air Hogs. Let's take a look at this. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a fake Air Hogs helicopter. Released in 2002, this is the Super Air Hogs Super Power helicopter. As you can see, it is a pretty high quality ripoff. It looks exactly like the Air Hog Sky Patrol. And as you can see, it's in metric form, uh, specifications, and a bunch of other information. And the box art, look at that box art. It looks really good for a ripoff. Now I'm gonna turn it around and show you the contents right there on the side of the box. Suit content. And Here's some of the uh, blatant information, um, including lift straight off the launch pad. I'm not sure if that's a safety uh, infra information. Uh, press accelerator to fly higher. Press brake to land. Um, charges in minutes. And it has a safety, uh, safety rotor to zing. The zing. <laughs> that's funny. And then notice this label here is not Spin Master, it's some sort of weird Chinese label. So obviously it is a ripoff. And here we go with the contents. And we'll unbox it. Okay, here is the Super Power Sky Patrol helicopter out of its box. As you can see, here is the helicopter itself. It is a really well built helicopter to be honest. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be kind of hard to tell the difference between this one and the actual real Sky Patrol helicopter. And unfortunately, I do not have one to compare it to. But I'm sure they're pretty much identical. Um, it has a nice sturdy foam body uh, with a very nice paint job on it. I actually originally had two of these helicopters. But unfortunately, the first one I had broke a, well, a very long time ago. So this is the only one I have left, and it's still in very mint condition, with the exception of some minor paint chips and scratches. And of course, being a almost 20 year old toy, the battery inside no longer works as it is a vintage Nikehead battery. And that's the only issue with that. Anyway, as you can see, I just almost dropped the helicopter. It has a interesting setup with the rotor blades. As you can see, both the main and tail rotors are geared to each other, similar to like a belt-driven remote control helicopter. As you can see, as you move it, the gears run it back and forth. And here's the charging station, which is a very cool setup. So you can just place it on its landing gear on these four little uh, spikes on it. You know, they don't really line up properly on this version. But you just line them up like that. And then you use this charging hose here and plug it in to there. And it will show a green light when you turn on this charger over here. Of course, I have no batteries in it to demonstrate you with. And um, it will show a blinking green light indicating that it is charging. And then when that light goes off, it is finished.
and we had this solid power light on. So there's the chopper, and here's the transmitter. And you may have noticed there is no major controls on this helicopter except throttle. This is your throttle only. And of course, pushing it forward will stop it or break it as the box will assume. Just like the real Sky Patrol helicopter. Presumably, you're supposed to steer this helicopter by constantly controlling the rotor speed, which is kind of a very flimsy way to control it. But anyway, this is a vintage toy helicopter, and this is the best which you could get until about 2005 when they released the Reflex and Havoc Heli series. So, no wonder why this helicopter didn't really last that long. That was a pretty cool novelty toy as this thing would fly pretty high in the air at the time and will spin around uh, the, going to the left as it has too much torque going through the main rotors but then as the motor weakened it will start doing a clockwise motion and it will fly straight into the ground pretty much but other than that it was a pretty fun thing to fly around and mess with the dog or your uh, little siblings with but that's pretty much it. This does this thing does not teach you how to fly a real mo patrol helicopter. And it's it's just a pretty unique piece of history here. Even though know, this one, this particular helicopter, as I mentioned, is a knockoff, which is kind of unusual. The knockoffs of Air Hogs products did not come about until about two thousand five when Aero Ace became popular and the Havoc Helis. So very interesting to see such a vintage piece of uh, RC toy history like this. As you can see, it's too bad I can't demonstrate uh, the power of this thing, as it was a very cool, powerful helicopter. This transmitter takes six AA batteries, and then the charger here can use uh, several D batteries, or you can also use a uh, nickel metal or Nikehead battery set up with these two wires here. Of course, I kind of modified it to use any sort of battery. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this thing. Too bad I can't demonstrate it. It is a very cool machine. That's a, an Air Hogs Sky Patrol helicopter or the ripoff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I've been away from the video making scene for quite a while. Life has been kind of rough for me these past couple months. So video making has been kind of been a challenge for me. But hopefully I'll be able to get more content pushed out in the future. I'm hoping that maybe I should start a funding uh, campaign to get this channel rolling. Especially if you want to see more working products and fireworks videos. So hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care.